Hi and welcome to a breakdown of my Green Berets 2 man CQB run. We're gonna go through the replay and I'm gonna share my thought process as we go. Please excuse the invisible operators, um, they look like ghosts. Uh, the mods and configuration have been updated since I recorded the original video and I just couldn't figure out how to make them visible again. Sorry about that, but all the relevant things that we need to see are there. We can see the guns, we can see the gear, we can understand what's going on. So let's start rolling. First thing we are doing here is bringing up both operators to one side of the door. Uh, green uh, or teal is going to uh, work the door handle and orange is going to provide security and start working the threshold as soon as the door swings. So door swings. You can see the uh, he's putting eyes on the threshold, on the apex. That's the pan. Most of the room is already cleared. We are going to take a step backwards and then swing the other door so we can have eyes into the deep corner. It's also clear. And we're going to move into the room and set up at the next door just the same way we did at the first door. So this time orange is going to swing and teal is going to work the th uh, threshold. Door swings, no threads visible, we start panning, eyes on the apex, one thread, thread goes down, we continue our um, our pan until we're in the, in the other deep uh, or narrow angle. So we're going to swing this door and there is a thread in the deep corner, so now we're going to flip and enter. Both deep corners are clear, so we're going to set up at the next door, same way as we did before. Teal gets ready to work the door handle, orange provides security and gets ready to work it. Alright, no thread visible. What we do see though is that there is a passage going off to the side. So as we make entry we want to be careful not to expose our flank to this area. We do the pan and here's my first mistake. I am a bit, little bit lazy with where I'm putting the eyes of the operator. I put it in the middle of the threshold and it would have been better to put it right here on the apex where it belongs. Didn't do that. What happens from here is, as you can see, the gun is going to be compressed. So gun comes up, we see a threat and honestly this could have got my operator shot. I should have put the uh, viewpoint at the right position. But we got lucky, the, uh, the guy with the gun is really slow to bring it up. We are faster to bring our gun up and take the thread down. So now we know the uh, corner is clear, this looks like a hallway. So I'm going to put a flashbang in here. As the bang goes off we come in as quickly as we can. We're going to run the rabbit, so um, that means brake is not, or teal is not going to move across here because that would expose him to this thread or this open area. Uh, instead he's going to come in sideways, make space for orange to come in right behind him so we get two barrels down the hallway as quickly as possible. They're here! Both barrels down the hallway, hallway is clear. We um, are going to work with this problem next. We want to move down here but we want, don't want to be careful of what might be down here. So what we're going to do is what I know as wingman cornering, uh, meaning uh, they are going to get into physical body contact and um, uh, Teal, who is closer to the threat, is going to take point and work this corner while Orange follows, keeps eyes forward where we are moving. And in case uh, Teal sees something that he doesn't like, he can flinch back and he, through, with the body contact he will take his body back with him out of the danger zone. So flashbang goes out, we get ready to work this angle. We have one thread, thread goes down, now that we are secure. Over here we're going to continue moving down the hallway, get a position on this door. This door's problem is the handle is on the wrong side and there's no space to set up properly. So what we're going to do here is kick in the door, put in a banger, because if we stand here we're going to exp be exposed to every thread that could be in this door. And if we kick it, all everyone who's in here is going to look at the door. So we really want to prep this with a bang before we make entry. 
Door is kicked. So Teal is going th to throw the bang while Orange is providing security. Bang goes in, bang goes off. We move in as quickly as we can. We would probably usually like do a battle drill six, meaning one operator goes down and chooses if he goes straight along this or if he um, button hooks this and goes in here. Since we are already engaging a threat down here, Orange is going to come in straight and Teal is going to go this way and do the button hook. But as we come in, we can see there's barricaded shooters behind a sandbag, so we can't really uh, do a button hook, not very far. Instead, we're going to, you know, come back to the wall and ride the wall down. Good thing that we flashbang these guys, so we can take them down. Ride the wall, since the room is clear, we can already stop riding the wall and instead come to the next door. Now this door's problem is, handle is again on a side where we cannot stack up, there's no room, and the other side is also blocked by this object, so... Um, my idea here was, after a quick tech reload, bring up one guy who can kick it. Teal is going to kick the door open uh, while Orange is providing secu security as best he can. Door swings. It, luckily, there is no threat down here. So we start moving in after a bang. Bang goes in. Notice we stop outside the threshold for a very quick check before we commit to the room. Now we come in, we see one threat, and as you can see here, I'm stopping um, Orange so he can take the threat down before we commit to maybe more threats that may be hidden in the rest of the room. Threat goes down, we quickly move, continue our move into the room. Eyes on the apex, there's another threat. We take him down. Now Orange is going to provide security and keep eyes on this door while uh, Teal jumps over the obstacle, over the barricade and starts working the rest of the room. You can see the idea here is his eyes are on this apex and he's going to take a wide step around it so his muzzle doesn't hit the object and um, swing around this, um, clear what is left unseen here and then come back to the column and take position to keep eyes on the door again. He comes around and actually there's two threats. Honestly, I didn't expect it because the, there was those were very <laughs> tiny slivers that were uh, unseen. But it's good that we, um, that we were careful. So, Teal is in position, eyes on the door, Orange can come up. Uh, since they are now shoulder to shoulder, it's a good time to do a tech reload. Orange is going to take the position and hold it, uh, while Teal comes up at the door and swings it. Hate these double doors, because it means you gotta like really expose yourself uh, to work the handle and uh, move back out of the threat area. We're going to bang this. Bang goes off. Now Orange is going to uh, do the pie, because he has more standoff um, from behind. Notice the idea here is he's going to transition to the next cover position, then wait until it's clear, and once it's clear he's going to move around to and take a step back so the gun stays up, it's not compressed, then takes another check here, sees if it's clear, and then continues to move, move, move up into this corner so he can see in the narrow angle as much as he can. We already see a threat. Threat goes down, so we continue moving. Here's our first stop. Here <laughs> I made a uh, mistake. I put um, Teal closer up to the door to keep eyes on this angle because um, as Orange keeps moving he's giving up eyes on this angle. But I should have taken a step back. His barrel is exposed into the room. Uh, even though that's not how exposure works in Door Kickers 2, um, we should have taken a step backward here. So we continue to the other side of the column. Still clear. Continue working check out what's in the corner, and there is a threat coming at us. Now here's one thing about exposure um, in door kickers. As you can see the red silhouette um, and the blue is where our operator can see. He should clearly be able to see and engage him. He should be taking shots uh, right now, but he isn't because the uh, you really have to like s 
see the very, very center of where the enemy is to actually engage the enemy. So, enemy is able to come down here. Honestly, at this point, Orange shouldn't be taking the shot. Orange sh should let Teal work the problem and Teal should be taking a step backward, bring his gun up and, you know, shoot the guy. But that's not what happens here. Orange takes the shot and continues firing after the, uh, the enemy's down. We are very lucky that there is no friendly fire in this occasion because um, at this uh, moment, as some commenters have correctly pointed out, Orange would have shot his buddy. We swing the second door, we move in. Corners clear. Going to check out what's here. Tic tac reload. Banger goes out. And here <laughs> we're going to see a very good example why it's good that there is no friendly fire in door kickers. There is a system in place that should prevent them from taking dangerous shots, but it's not super reliable as we are going to see here in a moment. Both operators come out and the idea is that Teal should take this shot and Orange should just come up here and make sure he also gets eyes on. But he's taking shots way too early. You see for a very brief moment there was like a red exclamation mark saying I'm not going to take the shot because I'm, my buddy is in front of me. But he starts taking shots and honestly in this situation he shouldn't. He should earn his shot, come up, put the muzzle before the flash and then take shots. Uh, this was a really, really dangerous move. But I guess that's why we don't have friendly fire in um, door kickers because there's no way to prevent this as a player and I think this would be pretty frustrating if we um, would keep shooting our, uh, our teammates when we really shouldn't. Alright, um, guys are set up here. Um, Teal is going to jump over the obstacles, over the barricades and get close to the door while Orange provides security from behind. I was a little bit nervous about the, like, the red blinky thing. I don't know what that is. It seems to be just decoration. <laughs> So we continue moving. I didn't get any prompt to disarm it or whatever. Now um, Teal hugs the door while Orange comes up. Orange, as before, is going to work the handle as Teal provides security and will start working the threshold. Door swings. Once again, I'm a little bit lazy with the, uh, not putting eyes on the apex where it belongs. We are going to pie, pie, pie. <laughs> Here's a fun mistake. I don't know what happened. I didn't intend to close the door, but it happened. So I quickly opened the door again. But it also means at this moment we are losing eyes into the room. And as we see, once again, for we get for like a microsecond, we get a glimpse of a, of a threat in this corner. And clearly, Blue should be able to see him, but he doesn't because it's not like center, center, center mass. Threat is going to uh, come out, I guess, but if they don't, we are just going to frag the room because we know there's a threat in there. Frag goes out, but um, the enemy was even quicker to come at us. Uh, once again, very dangerous shot. Um, <laughs> the, uh, the frag actually takes out the door in here and there is another threat in the corner. We take the threat down, come in, make sure we uh, put our guys in cross cover on this threshold so we can see both sides. Deep corner is clear. This is a corner fed room. Looks like a hallway. M move both guys up. Since it's a hallway, we're going to flash it. Both guys move in. I should have run the rabbit here, but I didn't. Um, I only, you know, made space for the second operator like after two steps into the room. Um, I think it would have been smarter to move up here, you know, run the rabbit. But I didn't. Still, we, it turned out okay. We took down the threat. Continue working, have both guys come around this corner near far with eyes on the apex. One threat, two barrels on it, threat goes down, tech reload. Going to work this. This is a, um, looks like a hallway, but there's, um, these sandbags provide some cover for us. So we're going to peek it. We see one threat. I'm confident that we are going to win this gunfight since we are in cover and the other guy had his gun down. So as expected, we are winning this gunfight. Now Teal is going to provide security down uh, long and Orange is going to come up, jump over the barricade. He's going to take over um, providing security while Teal uses the opportunity to do a tech reload and comes up behind him. We're going to switch um, left and right because um, 
we are we want a guy with bangers ready and at this point um, orange st still has three flashbangs and teal has run out of flashbangs so i want orange with the flashbangs available on the inside in case we need to deploy one and we are going to deploy one work this corner and we're taking blind fire from inside here which means even though um, sadly honestly very sadly um, walls and doors are bulletproof in door kickers we are going to move past this uh, past this door as quickly as we can but first we have one threat to take down <coughs> stunned by the flashbang so he he's go goes down easily we are running the rabbit here so uh, teal moves down as Orange follows. Now we add the double, we run past this threshold, get the palms way as fast as we possibly can. <clears throat> Since we know there are threats actively engaging in here, we are not going to bang this room, we're going to put a frag in here. Door swings, frag goes out. One thing to be mindful of, here's a gas canister, you always have to be mindful of secondaries. In real life, very bad idea, Teal should um, should very quickly take a step back and get out of harm's way. You don't want to, you know, catch some fragments of that with your with your face. <coughs> but it turns out okay. We uh, hear the big explosion in the room. We quickly get eyes in, move inside, run the rabbit, strong wall this. And since the room is clear, we quickly move up and get in position to work the next door. Same setup as before, both operators on the same side, orange providing security, teal is going to swing. Draw swings, we move around the threshold, one threat has the gun down, <coughs> threat goes down. We're going to um, work from the threshold as much as we can, so we're first going to move into this corner outside of the room, see what we can see. As we see no threats, we immediately come into the room with eyes on this apex. One threat with a handgun goes down. Both operators take a position on this corner, eyes on this door. Quick tech reload. Now this door really, really calls for a charge because there is no room on either side to go into cover. And um, as soon as we swing this door, we are exposed to whatever is outside and there is no room to take cover whatsoever. So, but we do, <laughs> that's the one thing, a fun thing about Green Berets in the uh, Project Ares mod that we are playing here. They do not have any breaches, no breaching devices. So the only thing we can do is a manual breach or, you know, since this door um, is unlocked, we are going to swing it. And the best thing we can do here is get in position have one guy providing sec uh, security and pray that uh, whatever we discover outside is manageable with the setup that we have. So, door swings, prayers go out. Um, there is a, a car which would pr have provided the perfect opportunity for barricaded shooters to take us down. L you know, there could have been a, a machine gun setup looking at us and that would have been the end of this mission. We got lucky, there's no one out there. We are going to work this threshold as we did before, move into this corner, see what we can see from before committing. Good that we're doing, there is one barricaded shooter, but he didn't pay attention, so we were luckily able to take him out. We didn't have to flinch back and prep it with a bang. We're going to now get outside with eyes on this apex, see what we can see in this direction. Nothing, it's clear. Um, the roof of this truck seems to be so high that we cannot look over it. We can only see through the front and over the uh, the front of the car. So we're going to come out here, start rolling around this car. We discover one threat and usually when I see a barricaded shooter I immediately um, flinch back and prep it with a handheld. In this case I figure we got two long guns, the guy with the handgun doesn't have his gun up, so I figure it's um, we can probably get away with rolling, uh, strong walling this and um, shooting him. But we immediately play, play, uh, pay the price, so uh, Teal took a round there. Luckily, um, he doesn't go down. Um, we start taking shots at the barricaded shooter. And we um, are really lucky that we got away with just a couple of wounds. 
and uh, we didn't lose an operator here. So once again, a good reminder, we, we see a barricaded shooter. We should flinch back and um, prep it with a handheld uh, and not try to take the um, barricaded threat down. All right, we keep pushing this, keep going around here. There is one more threat barricaded, but he's only barricaded in this direction. We are actually able to flank him from here while we, while we have cover from the front of this car. So he goes down. Take up position here. <coughs> Both guys are reloading at the same time. Bad idea, honestly. Only we should always have one, one barrel up and ready to shoot while the other guy reloads. So we got lucky that this gate doesn't swing and there's no threats coming out as we're doing this. Right, <coughs> moving up to the next threshold, so Orange gets in position to swing open this gate while Teal takes position in uh, in cover um, behind this car with eyes on the threshold. Door swings, no threat immediately visible. We are going to ride along this car and see what else we can see in the room. And sure enough, there is one bar barricaded shooter, but he has his gun down. Uh, so. We should have the advantage here, because we already have our gun up, we are expecting um, a threat. And we do win this gunfight, so we are now ready to move in. We let it breathe for a second, but nothing moves, so Orange is now going to check what he can see and pan this. Now Orange is going to go into position and hold this. We have two openings, one here, one here. He has eyes on the closer threat. Teal comes in at the double, takes over cover from the other side, and Orange starts working the first opening. He sees one barricaded shooter, so he is going to flinch back. <coughs> but we are super lucky and are able to um, take the threat down as we move back. So we're going to uh, pan this again, see what else is there. <coughs> one more barricaded shooter, so immediately we are going to bail out. This time the shots, as expected, don't make contact. We are going to frag this, because we know there's a threat. We hear the uh, effect, so we can expect that this is clear now. We get eyes on to make sure it actually is. Yes, it is. So Teal can come down here, right this wall, get in this cover position while watching this angle. There's nothing visible here, so Orange is going to start working. One threat. Threat goes down. Once again, a door that I don't really like, because then there's not a lot of space to work from either side. So this would like I would like to put a charge on if I had one and work from here, but I can't, so we have to get up close. <coughs> so what I chose, choose, uh, chose to do here is uh, get orange right next to the door and swing it while Teal provides security from behind. Looking back, in hindsight, I'm not so sure if this is like the best approach for this door because it's um, a pretty dangerous angle to take shots. Um, pretty high risk of flagging your body, but if you have a be better idea how to do this, um, <laughs> leave a, feel free to leave a comment. I think in hindsight I would have m uh, rather moved Teal up here put him shoulder to shoulder as we did before with the other dangerous doors <coughs> instead of having him standing way back there. So Orange swings the door, Teal starts working, one threat, threat goes down. We move up to the threshold before we commit. Now we're going to commit and enter. No threats visible, we move both operators in, get in cross cover, move up. Now it's time for the flip. We do the flip, start working simultaneously, um, but Orange sees a threat, barricaded shooter. So we are going to flinch back and prep this. Bang, goes out. We do the same move as before, come in, this time committed to taking down whatever threats we see. There's two shooters, so good thing that we did flinch back. So Orange is going to take care of this and Teal continues working the other side. One threat goes down, another threat goes down, so both areas are now clear. Orange is going to keep eyes on this door and is going to move back behind here so he can, uh, can easier flinch back if he has to. T 
Teal is going to work what's down here. One thread long. I'm confident that we can take this down. And we can. Tag reload, get up to this door. Now in this case, I think it's um, viable, the setup that we have. It's fine that Orange is standing back here and can have ice into the door while standing in half cover. So he can move back if he has to. S and Teal is going to come up here, work this door handle and, in and immediately uh, take a step back. Door swings, we take a step back. Orange is going to work the threshold. One thread goes down, get to the outside, see what we can see. No threat visible, so we're going to commit. Corner is clear, move to the next door. Similar to the door we had earlier, the door handle is on this side. There is no room to work it from this side, so we are going to kick the door open and have eyes on from here. Door swings, no threads visible, start working the threshold. We uh, start our pan. We can, we have eyes on one thread, so we are going to pause here until the thread is taken down. Ah! Thread is down, we wait until the gun settles and the so gun is settled. We are ready to continue working. And then just for the fraction of a second as we go get close here, we get eyes on a barricaded shooter. So we are going to bail out and prep it. As Teal um, is throwing the frag in here, Orange is providing security. Frag goes out. Bam. And the only thing that's left unclear is this corner. So I would like Orange to come in here and immediately attack this corner. That's what we do. That's the last threat of the map. And that's the map cleared. Hope you liked this breakdown. If you have thoughts and comments, please share them. Um, if you have some hints, things that I can improve, always happy to learn something new. And um, if you have questions about my thought process, feel free to write them in the comments. I'm always happy to answer them. Guys, hope you like this run and see you next time. <laughs>